Hello everybody once again. We are back and this time on a new map with a new hero. Just bringing you something kind of new. And it should be interesting. I haven't played this map too much. It just recently started coming up a lot instead of the other uh, two lane map. This map has three lane. So it's a little bit, get a little bit more hectic. And this is, uh, this is Blackpaw. Is the hero, so his basic abilities are you have your swipes, which is just your basic attack. This crunch, which is my right click, deals lots of damage and heals me for a portion of the damage. I think it's like 75%. Oh, it just got changed, or maybe it's 100% still. I don't know. And then E will buff all gnolls in the area. And then to synergize with that, Q will summon two spirit gnolls. And that one has a really long cooldown, which is very, very powerful. They do lots of damage. Dodge that. A little bit. Oh crap, there's three of them there. <laughs> so many stuns. I'm just gonna go back to base and heal. So I actually haven't gotten to play this game much today. Uh, I went to uh, Magic, a little Magic shindig down, that was happening down here. It was a free entry. I also went to uh, one Friday Night Magic yesterday. But I, I don't normally go. I normally just go on Fridays. But uh, it was free, so. I played uh, a rug deck for anyone who knows Magic, Red, Blue, Green. And uh, I did pretty well. Uh, I didn't play, unfortunately, but thus is life. So we're just gonna go in here. This is a very, very, very high damage hero. Oh, damn. So close. Oh, he's still gonna die though. As you notice though, we will do way more damage on this guy than we ever would on the other guy. And just like, he just shreds things. Just Even his auto attacks are way stronger. But. Just cause I like talking about magic, I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more. My magic deck. Of course I only play standard right now. And uh, a little bit of EDH or uh, Commander, but I, don't, I haven't been playing too long. I started at the beginning of M14, and you know, I'll probably, I might, probably will play a little bit of Magic on this channel. Just um, just the video game, because I don't really have the ability to record real life Magic. So maybe in the future though, because that is definitely something I love. But right now, we're just kind of chilling. I mean, can't really make a push. I think we can almost get the base to level 2. Yeah, close. I have 2k. If anyone else contributes, we can. Gonna go in on this guy. Cast our gnolls. Buffed him. Kill him. And, uh, yeah. I find that early game kills are way, way more important than, um... Like, a minions that are supposed to, like, good at scoring early on. Like, the kill minions, like the one I'm using currently, way better. Because you get that huge advantage by getting those kills. For instance, I can already put that many points in. Uh, if one of my teammates uh, would care to contribute to um, the upgrades. Two of my teammates would. I could put in a level 2 minion. But I'm not upgrading right now, because if I do, I won't be able to put in my level 2 minion. So I guess that would be one of the advantages of having the uh, free minion that's weaker. As I pointed that out before, it's just... There's a little demonstration. And we have 2k now, we're gonna buy a leadership trickle like we have done in the past. Because I still want to get that super aggressive advantage early. The ability to upgrade your camps earlier than your opponents is a huge, huge uh, advantage. So we're just gonna run with our minions again. Uh, this is a tunnel. Uh, we haven't seen it yet, I don't think. Uh, the prospector makes tunnels that you can travel through. And it's pretty good, I don't really like the prospector. He's, I'll probably play him for you guys though. He's uh, free this week. So, definitely probably expect that. Um, I think I'm actually, maybe I won't, I'll probably play each one. But I am planning on also doing uh, hero spotlights as well. So, if you're interested in learning more about the heroes and what they do, 
Because I'm pretty sure even on their website, like, it doesn't have... Like, on the internet, it's very hard to find specifics on these guys. On all the heroes, so... What the hell? That's a glitch. That's a glitch. <laughs> Where is that paladin going? Where'd he come from? <laughs> Our paladin just, like, walked into the... Is he still... hell that was so weird anyway sorry about sorry i got distracted about that but yeah hero spotlights because it's kind of hard to find on the internet i was actually looking for a champion i didn't know what they did and i couldn't find anything about them like i found some of the ba a basic description not even their abilities and i was like okay but i don't know so I pro i'll probably do that for you guys for those of you who care to know. And I'll probably do a game with each of them too. And of course it makes things simple. I'll just do um, them individually. So you can just, if you want to know about one specifically, you can just jump right to that one. And now with this Paladin gone, we are free to go way more aggressive than we were before. And with our minion there, these guys have no chance. Yeah, another one bites the dust. I'm just, the kill system I don't think tracked correctly, because I've definitely killed more than three people. But uh, I'm going to also buy charge, gives my minion bonus move speed. Uh, assault team, it'll increase my minion's damage against um, Gates and Paladins, and shrug it off. The first time they take damage from an enemy hero, it's basically, or it's, first time they take damage, it's basically uh, mitigated. So, also I found this glitch. Whoops. Well, I mean, you can get up there, up onto that, and just stand there. I'd assume it's not intended. Uh, my allies haven't put any level 3 minions, so I'll just go with the ones I like. We'll go with these guys. I just personally really like those guys because I think they look cool. And now they're pretty effective. Ooh. Jump through. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm pretty low on health. I probably should have placed down my blood gale lift earlier on. It might have given us a little bit more of an advantage, but I mean... Alright, that's why I didn't do it. There's already a there. That's gonna be my excuse. I'm rolling with it. Heal up. Oh, I forgot. Mm. So basically, if you use any of your abilities, you enter um, fighting. And when you're fighting, you can't gain the heal boosts. You'll see the little um, thing here. You are placing combo for a period of time after attacking or being attacked. So, just keep that in mind if you uh, if you're playing. So uh, we almost have enough to fully upgrade this just by ourselves. Something kind of cool on this map, which I'm planning on showing you guys. Is there's like um I'm gonna try to get that right now. Like roof, like a roof. It's kind of cool. Like you can just kind of hide up there or something. It's probably not that effective considering the mini map is always on. Like you can always see all your enemies, but kind of a little cool thing. If they're not playing complete attention, you can definitely sneak up on them. There's also a gate here or a switch here. But and then you can get here and yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure you can actually only make, once you're here, you can only make that dome with a double jump. But we'll, let's see. Now you have to double jump. So with either this guy or Hograth, the one I was playing previously, they can both make it. Oh, and we got a level one camp there. I have to go put in my minion. Ooh, ouch. Can I jump that? I'm always curious to see what I can jump. Nope. I can get up on that wall though. Okay, anyway. I'm gonna go in on this girl. We don't want her uh, taking out our minions. Go in again. I don't think the lunge deals damage, but it's so short cooldown that it's worth. And this gate is closed. 
She's like going hard ball on the minions though. This guy, <laughs> we just got three kills. And uh, we'll just, there's level one minions aren't gonna impact the game enough as much as this is. I mean, so we will just uh, help you down this gate. As you see, we're doing 84 damage to this gate. I don't think the ability actually affects it. And we're actually going to upgrade our damage. See how much damage we do now. We'll do 103. Nice. Ah, oh, man. We could have made that. No, I guess we can't. Definitely from the stairs, though, I think. Got him. Got him. Got him, coach. Please. Ah. Nope. Nope. Oh, man. Second death? Second death. 702, though. I think we're doing pretty good. I recently got the new gear slot, so I'm using uh, the Mending Room. Short duration time, overtime heal. Uh, it's, it's whatever. I mean, I don't really have anything better to use. I know there's much better equipment. There's even uh, rare equipment, I'm pretty sure, or mythic equipment, I'm pretty sure. So we will go and put in our minion now, though. I think we can even upgrade it. Maybe? Seventh, yeah, we can. There's no way we can. I've been just racking up that uh, leadership. And my teammates are pretty low on it, though. And it looks like one of my teammates will get another level 2 minion, so that's pretty good. Considering I kind of made a cop, might have caught them off guard with that uh, huge spike in leadership. And I'll get movement speed too, and I think I might start placing traps if we really need it. Jump that. This is where we're defending. Yeah, I'm gonna place some trap. There are already pounders here, I'll add some more. Can't place traps here. I can here though. So we'll do it in this hallway. That looks pretty lethal. Yeah, I don't know. Nope. Have to jump from up there in order to get to that uh, spot. Ouch. Wow, lots of giants here. <laughs> wow, those lions from the other lane came over just to kill her. That's great. And the Mobot seems to be semi-glitched. Nah, he's mo who's moving now? Uh, I'm not going to get him. Okay, get out of here. Arcane arrow wall. It's pretty nice. Got him. Got him, coach. Swiggity shwooty, uh, give me this booty. Yeah, they ain't got nothing on us. We're gonna score there. And we're just gonna keep killing heroes. Honestly. We're just hunting heroes at this point. And that uh, grab that you see me do, or what it looks like to be a grab, is uh, me buffing my uh, my moles or knolls or knolls. Yeah. Unfortunately, that guy respawned right there. But we went on to a huge killing spree. 10 and 3 now. Oh man. Uh, that's life and that's mana, right? I don't know why it displays life and mana, or maximum life and maximum mana. It's like the most random thing. Anyway. It, also funny, you can see the gear on everyone, all their traps and such. What I think is funny though, that you can't see their minions. And holy crap. Woo, one of my guys scored, woo. Oh, it was one of my, uh, it was my, 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 it was my uh, <laughs> sorry. It was my, uh, medium orc from the level 2 camp that we have. Which is interesting. 
I guess they really don't have the defense needed. This trap is interesting. I just want to go over this real quick. It's constant damage. It will never stop. Like, never deactivate. Anyway. That was a really fast game. Um, I can't see how long. But. If. I Well, I will. I will do the hero spotlights. And, and since I talked about them in this video. I will put a link to them. In the description. Or just as annotations. When they're released. So. Probably won't release them all at the same time, of course, so just be on the lookout for that if you want to know about them. And if there's any specifically that you want to see, I know not many people watch my videos right now, so if you leave a comment telling me one that you want to see specifically, I will definitely get to that one first. So, until next time, guys, see you later.